Hello everyone, Daniel Yuck here. Thank you all for tuning in today, I appreciate you. Today we're gonna to be diving into a how-to video. I'm going to be sharing with you all how I go about wrapping my pen style tattoo machines. Now, should you have any questions about anything that you see or hear throughout this video, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below. Rest assured, I will assist you in the best possible direction. With that being said, let's dive straight on into this. The method that I am about to share with you all here in this video can be applied to pretty much any pen style tattoo machine that you are using on your end. It doesn't matter if it's a bulkier tattoo machine or if it's a tattoo machine with a different shape or a machine with a larger grip or even a smaller pen style tattoo machine that you have to put your wireless power supply on. The method that I'm showing you in this video can be used for any pen style tattoo machine which is a great thing about this method. So let's get into the method. My method and approach is truly simple. I use two things. I use a simple cling wrap, saran wrap, whatever you would like to call this on your end, and I use adhesive wrap. This right here is not a barrier for our machines. I use this for comfortability. I don't use this to create a barrier. I use this plastic wrap to create the barrier around my tattoo machine. Every time I wrap my machine, I want to make the machine as low risk as possible, meaning contaminants getting on my machine I want to try to minimize that as much as I can so this is what I've worked into and developed over my time in tattooing and again just to confirm and reiterate it can be applied to any pin style tattoo machine that you're using on your end allow me to continue here so for this demonstration we can literally pick any one and go from there so for this demonstration I'm gonna go ahead and put these on over to the side we're gonna work with this one right here I may demonstrate with another one as well so where I begin is I get my cling wrap ready and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start by removing my grip and then when I remove my grip I place this to the side and I'm gonna get back to that here shortly so when I do that I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to wrapping the first part of this machine the thing is I don't want to put any cling wrap below this area right here where the grip was just at so I'm going to adjust the cling wrap accordingly all I'm doing is I'm cutting out the size that I need. I'm aware that it's overlapping that area. We're gonna go ahead and adjust that right now. And typically what I like to do is I like to start on one end and kind of just roll it into the cling wrap. So as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm lining the plastic wrap with the lining of the machine right here. And as I'm doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it to create a nice tight barrier around my machine, like so. You can straighten this out. Um, right now, I'm focused on this area because I want this area to be the tightest. And then I can go back and kind of straighten everything out up top. So as you can see right here, everything kind of just naturally wrapped around. I'm going to bring it on over, place it like that. Now, I'm not going for aesthetics. I'm going for effectiveness. So as you can see, I'm still able to access all of my dials right here just fine. Everything is accessible. It's a little bit harder to see because the light's shining on there, but everything is right here. Down, up, right there, everything is good. So, I have a wrap around the top part of my machine. If you are a little cautious like I am, I typically like to double wrap if necessary. And for me, it's just something that I like to do. And for the second wrap, I make it a little bit smaller, but ensuring that I'm going to wrap it all the way around. Second wrap is optional. I do recommend it. and we're gonna repeat that process. Now, there's a reason why I'm wrapping the machine like this, because upon tattooing, I want to have full adjustability of my needle depth. I need to have full needle depth adjustability while tattooing on the fly. So when I'm switching from like round liners, round shaders, round mags, I need to be able to adjust this accordingly without having any issues. So the entire top part of my machine is covered Everything is accessible, voltage up, voltage down. As you see, everything is good to go. We can turn that off there. So first part is done. I'm gonna place that right here. Next, I'm gonna to wanna to grab the grip. Then I like to put that back onto the machine, like so. And then what I'm gonna do here is essentially repeat the process that we just did, but for the grip. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the saran wrap right here. Then I'm going to literally repeat what we just did and lining up the saran wrap with the grip top right here. 
So that's the only thing that changes, as you see. And what, I, what I'm doing here is I don't want these saran wraps touching or overlapping as we are not going to be able to adjust the depth of the needle on the fly. So as you see, I'm getting a nice, good solid wrap right around the grip all the way up to the edge there. And then you can go ahead and use this to kind of give it more layer of wrapping around and a little bit of bulk as well. And again, to each their own, you can choose to wrap machines however you want. I'm sure you may have a better way to do it. This is just what's worked well for me. So I continue to do this. So as you see, I'm able to fully adjust the grip right here and my machine is fully wrapped right here. From here, what I would do is I would then begin to provide comfort because for me, I don't like to tattoo on metal for long periods of time. It beats up this part of my hand right here. So I use adhesive wrap. And the only thing that really changes from machine to machine is the size and models of the machine. Uh, other than that, we're still gonna pretty much use the same approach for every single machine. So for here, I just simply get a small layer of adhesive wrap and as you can see I just simply wrap it around like so until I am comfortable and I'm ensuring that I'm not touching that bottom grip I'm trying to stay away from there as much as I can and then I'm going to essentially repeat that process with this bottom half right here and again I don't want to touch the bottom part I want to stay away from I'm sorry I don't want to touch this part of the grip to the bottom part of this grip right here. I'm very mindful about that. And then I place this on until I have a comfortable wrapping to my liking. It can be a big one, it can be a small one, to each their own. So for demonstration, I think that's great. And as you can see, I still have full needle depth adjustability. Allow me to demonstrate that as well. So you can just take a cartridge or Anything that you'd like on your end and place it right on in. Bear with me. So as you can see, here's a mag. I'm adjusting it on the fly. No issues at all whatsoever. Even though there is a little overlap in there or intersecting, there is no overlapping. So we can still adjust, no problem. Allow me to show you with another needle here. So we could adjust the needles there, that screaming. Every single needle that we put in there and we're tattooing with, we can adjust. So now I'm ready to begin tattooing with this machine. I have a low risk, well wrapped tattoo machine ready to rock right here. So here we have the Dragonhawk Fold Tattoo Machine with the Drago RWX2 wireless power supply. As you can see, it's an odd setup, a very odd combination, but I would like to show you that wrapping goes the exact same way. So let's go ahead and show you that. Where I'm going to begin is with removing the grip. I will do full in-depth reviews on these tattoo machines as well that we are wrapping here. So for those who are curious, and then I'm gonna go ahead and proceed. So I'm gonna grab my saran wrap, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing as we did on the mass tour tattoo machine. And go ahead and get a good layer going there. And then the same thing, I'm gonna to wanna to line it up down here, make sure that I'm not going too much into this area over here. But I gotta make sure that I'm covering the entire top part of the machine. And the top part, I don't really ever truly worry about. It kind of wraps itself and works itself out, as you can see. So I kind of just fold it wherever it would wanna go, so to speak. So I have this whole top part covered off right there. Again, you can double layer it, you get the idea. For this, we're gonna go ahead and proceed though. 
So then I'm going to place this part of the tattoo grip on the machine and then I'm going to repeat that process but with a grip. And I'm making sure that I'm covering all of the metal so I don't have any exposed here. Me personally, I like to use a cling wrap because it's easy to work with now. Uh, as you see, it holds well, it clings and it binds. It creates a nice barrier around my machine. So my entire setup here is now covered. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a little bit of adhesive wrap and create a little bit of comfort for myself. So that way I'm not metal, I'm not tattooing on metal. And that's gonna be fully subjective to each their own. Some prefer to tattoo on metal. Me personally, it kind of beats up my hand. So I prefer to stay away from tattooing on metal. And for here, you can, you know, pick and choose how you'd like. You can wrap this area should you choose to do so to each their own. I think it's really fully up to you on how you want your setup to look. But as you can see, now I have a full wrap around this tattoo machine right here as well. And I have full needle depth adjustability. Allow me to show you here. So there you all have it. That is how I go about wrapping my tattoo machines on my end. As you can see, it's a very simple and straightforward process. I feel it's very resourceful as well as I am only using saran wrap and adhesive wrap to completely wrap my tattoo machines. Now, if I didn't touch base on anything specific or if you have any questions about anything that you saw throughout this video, I'm going to encourage you to drop a comment down below and I will do my absolute best to assist you in the best possible direction. I also have social medias all under the same name as this YouTube channel. I have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I would truly appreciate the support on there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and ring that bell as I will be bringing more videos like this for you all. Thank you for tuning in yet again. You have a great day.